Chicago AP in an astonishing reversal. Prosecutors on Tuesday abruptly dropped all charges against Jesse Smollett, abandoning the case barely five weeks after the Empire actor was accused of lying to police about being the target of a racist, anti-gay attack in downtown Chicago. The mayor and police chiefs blasted the decision and stood by the investigation that concluded Smollett staged a hoax. A visibility angry mayor from Emanuel called it a whitewash of justice and lashed out at Smollett. He asked, is there no decency in this man? Smollett's attorney said his record had been wiped clean of the 16 felony counts related to making a false report that he was assaulted by two men. The actor insisted that he had been truthful and consistent on every single level since day one. I would not be my mother's son if I was capable of one drop of what I was being accused of, he told reporters after the court hearing. He thanked the state of Illinois for attempting to do what's right. It was not immediately clear what prompted the decision to dismiss the case. In a statement, the Cook County Prosecutor's Office offered no detailed explanation. After reviewing all of the facts and circumstances of the case, including Mr. Smollett's volunteer service in the community and agreement to forfeit his bond to the city of Chicago, we believe this outcome is a just disposition and appropriate resolution to this case, the statement from spokeswoman Tandra Sigmonton said. Smollett paid $10,000 in bail to get out of jail after his arrest. Typically, a minimum condition of dropping cases is some acceptance of responsibility. Outside court, neither Smollett nor his legal team appeared to concede anything about his original report. Defense attorney Patricia Brown Holmes said Smollett was attacked by two people he was unable to identify and was a victim who was vilified and made to appear as a perpetrator. Authorities alleged Smollett knew the men and arranged for them to pretend to attack him. Among the unanswered question was whether prosecutors still believe Smollett concocted the attack or whether new evidence emerged that altered their view of events. Emanuel said the city saw its reputation dragged through the mud by Smollett's plan to promote his career. The hoax, the mayor said, could endanger other gay people who report hate crimes. Now this casts a shadow of whether they're telling the truth and he did this all in the name of self-promotion, he said. Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson stood by the department's investigation and said Chicago is, is still owed an apology. I've heard that they wanted their day in court with TV cameras so that America could know the truth. They chose to hide behind secrecy and broker a deal to circumvent the judicial system. Smollett was accused of falsely reporting to authorities that he was attacked around 2 a.m. on January 29 in downtown Chicago. Investigators said he made the report because he was unhappy with his pay on Empire and believed it would promote his career. The actor, who is black and gay, plays the gay character Jamal Lyon on the hit Fox TV show that follows the black family as they navigate the UPS and downs of the recording industry. He reported that he was assaulted on his way home from a sandwich shop. Smollett said two masked men shouted racial and anti-gay slurs, poured bleach on him beat him and built the rope around his neck. He claimed they shouted, This is an AGA country a reference to President Donald Trump's Make America Great Again campaign slogan. He asserted that he could see one of the men was white because he could see the skin around his eyes. Police said Smollett hired two men, both of whom are black, to attack him. Smollett allegedly paid the men $3,500. The men are brothers of Imbola Abel and Holer bin Joola Osundaro and one of them had worked on Empire. An attorney for them has said the brothers agreed to help Smollett because of their friendship with him and the sense that he was helping their careers. Police have also said that before the attack, Smollett sent a letter that threatened him to the Chicago studio where Empire is shot. The FBI, which is investigating that letter, has declined to comment on the investigation.